Alright, so first of all, before we start, right, I just want to say now I'm cool as Shane because I also picked up a Mjolnir. Audio <laughs> listeners, I'm pointing uh, at my Mjolnir. Oh, come on. Oh, we, we know that oh, one's Jonathan. fake. We know that one's fake. You know mine's a real one. You know why? Why? Because you wouldn't have been able to pick that one up and put it over there if it was real. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I did the time travel thing and I got it picked up from somewhere along the timeline. Oh. Oh, okay. So, so eventually, yours behind you will be mine. I'm just taking it back <laughs> at this time right now. Just like Avengers Endgame, except I didn't return a hammer. Yeah, but see, <laughs> mine is mine from this timeline. So you say my timeline's eventually going to be hacked? <sighs> yes, uh, before I get confused. <laughs> what date? <laughs> what date? And like, what? <laughs> so, um... Well, for audio yeah. listeners who can't see, right, I do have a meal in, so the shame we both bought it from. Uh, I bought it from AliExpress. I did not get mine from AliExpress. Like Ali I got it. mine from uh, Thor himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's oh, gonna stay like a body test. take from Alibaba. <laughs> I actually never bought anything from Alibaba, but I think AliExpress is just another name. For I think it is. It's the same company. It's the same company, yeah. Uh, but I never bought anything from them yet. But it's got pretty good weight, so I like it. <laughs> Well, no, mine's got extreme weight, so only it's not weight. People. So when you say that, right, you already cut that out. It's not about weight. <laughs> it's not about weight. At least certain people can lift mine. But anyway, moving on. So we're doing Lost in Space now. I haven't seen this movie for quite some time. Yeah, like, I mean, it's been a while since I seen. I know it's been a while since I seen because the first time when I I put it back in, started watching, I was like, I don't remember everything being computer generated. I. You know what? I don't remember either. Like some of the uh, special effects is obviously very outdated. Yes, it's very. It's gonna be very outdated. And I went and saw this in a theater. I don't remember it being this because it looks like I'm watching a video game now. Well, if you think about it, because back in '98, right when we actually seen this in a theater, it looks yeah. fans for its time back then. Yeah, it must have been. Well, it wasn't like a video game we seen, but now I'm watching I'm like. Looks like I'm watching a video yeah. game now. You talk about every scene with Matt LeBlanc, right? Like the special yeah. glasses. The, 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 the whole helmet. opening, yeah. Well, that doesn't still doesn't look near as dated. And the ship doesn't look near that dated. The ship, to me, is amazing. I still like the, the Lost in Space ship. But yeah, the opening, you know, where they're building the gate. Yes. In the whole battle scene. Yeah, and then when they come along the other spaceship. Yeah, so it's like, very yeah, dated. It's a little dated now. It's... I don't know. I... I still like it. I'll, I'll I mean, like, this movie this. was good, right? It's not as enjoyable oh, not as I thought it was. Yeah, it's not groundbreaking. It's not as exciting. But, but then I never seen the TV show back in the 60s. Oh, really? No, because, like, I never even saw that. Star Trek. So I guess this was from 65 to 68. Uh, let's go ahead and put it this way. Uh, you got to be down with it to watch, okay? Oh, what does that mean? Lost in space. Oh, it's kind of goofy. It's corny, goofy. Oh, it is. It is not scientific by a long shot, even though they claimed that they talked to NASA when they were making the show. Because the original show, they're supposed to leave Earth in like 1998 to go to Alpha oh, Star Trek. Interesting. But the show came out before Star Trek, not too far before Star Trek. It came out before Star Trek. A lot of it depends on the story you hear. You hear that actually they kind of ripped off Star Trek to wow. make this show. The only reason that they said that they think they ripped the show off because Gene Roddenberry came out with Star Trek, okay? Right. And the whole point of his Star Trek, he's he just he, when he was going to pitch the Star Trek, he went and pitched it to CBS. CBS was very interested. Oh, and Lost in Space. No. Oh. There was no such thing as Lost in Space. Oh, it's Star Trek, and then this. Came yeah, they're out. interested in Star Trek, and he he said it's a wagon train to the stars. A wagon what Star train Trek. to the stars. Okay. That's what Star Trek was supposed to be. Okay, so CBS listened to him. He told her the whole story about CBS. He left. They're like, hey, we don't really need your show anymore. We got another one. Oh. Star Trek went to NBC. And then oh. Lost in Space came out. You know which it was which is interesting because they described Lost in Space when it came out as a wagon train to the stars. <laughs> really? I, I didn't know about the wagon train to the stars, so I'm gonna actually... Oh, that's what Star Trek was always described I'm, as. I'm gonna title this episode Wagon Train to the Stars. But I'm pretty sure because it seemed they had a Jupiter patch with a ragged train going. Yeah, space. yeah. But each episode, the first season was uh, black and white, and then that they had only I think they only had three seasons too. Yeah, like the 50, other seasons were colored. Yeah, sixty-eight. This is star. Uh, this is uh, just Lost in Space. Though. Yeah, yeah, just, just Lost original in space. series, Lost in Space. And they're all corny. You know, each time they'd have a guest star and they'd have like Wait. some kind of weird stuff. And 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 as far as uh, 
I mean, they just, they didn't keep track of anything. You know, these people are just like, we're making this show it's for kids. Good luck with it. Wait, so when you say corny, is did you mean like, like a uh, sitcom type or it's like an hour oh, of scientific goofy. show? It was, it I was never... not a scientific show. You oh, need to watch man. it. It's kind of like this movie. It's actually basically this movie, but goofier. But goofier. Goofier, way so... goofier. Even the little monkey. Okay, okay. Well, I shouldn't say monkey. All right, all right. We know that little thing called Blip Blip or whatever it is in yeah. this show. Yeah, yeah. The, in the, the original alien series, thing. it was a monkey with a furry hat on it. It was supposed to be an alien. Oh, because <laughs> they couldn't do special effects like they do now, huh? Yeah. Well, all the aliens are were just like painted silver people, or they look like the devil or something. I'm trying to look at the uh, show. It was from '65 to '68. I actually, yeah. I actually enjoyed the show. Oh, but you know what? How long was it? Oh, 54 minutes. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it, was, it was all right. Wow. The main character, though, I guess it was supposed to be the whole family because they're called Robinsons. Was yeah, like, the Robinsons. You know, was like Swiss Family Robinson or Robinson Crusoe. You know, they get lost. Mm, okay. Read the books, right? Oh, I no, oh. I didn't. You, but you know who I'm talking about, right? I think so. I might not remember. Robinson Cru- Crusoe, you know, the people that build the little treehouse. They no, get I... lost on a deserted island and they, they make a living there. It sounds familiar. Oh, I'm sure you know it's. You're going to see it when you go to Disney World. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Maybe. I, I know they had the treehouse at Disney World, but they did. Okay. They so, I guess uh, next year, I'll bring it back to you. You're like, oh, my God. I totally remember what you're talking about now in Lost in Space. Yeah. Well, ironic. Lost in Space is different. But, yeah, Lost in Space. So, yeah, the movie was – I thought the movie was good. I mean, it had some of the original actors. Oh, it did. It, um, it, uh, on the Wikipedia page, you said a lot of the uh, show's original actor made a few ca- cameos in this one. Yeah, because the I mean the teacher is of course teacher's uh you know of course I would say Lassie's mom. <laughs> remember Lassie? Yes, I do. I do remember Lassie. The, the, the mother from the mother on the show was the mother of this of the Crusoe the you know the Robinsons. Robinsons. I since said the Crusoe the Robinsons. You know you talk about Mimi Rogers or a different mother. I, I got the, confused. The teacher, the, the lady that played the oh, teacher. Oh, that's right, the teacher. That, she I'm... was the original mother. Oh, okay. That one was... of the reporters was Penny. One of the reporters, oh, the second reporter, okay. that was originally Penny. I can't remember. I think the commander was the kid. So that's really interesting when the mother from the original show talked to the mother of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And Penny was the the, the, the original Penny yeah. was a reporter. I think oh. the original Will, if he was there. No, it wasn't the original Will. The original... uh. What was it? Matt LeBanc's character. Uh, Major West. Major West, yes. The original Major West was the one that told Major West he has to go on the mission. Oh, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Because I didn't know anything about the TV show, you know? Like, I would... I missed it. Oh, okay. Is it not on syndication? Yeah, it's in syndication. It's easy to see. It should be, right? For three seasons. Oh, yeah, you can get on there and see it. And I got it if you want to ever see it. CBS probably has it on the app, but, like, I don't have CBS, you know? No, you don't have to have... Oh, Oh yeah, it's, isn't that kind of weird that CBS now it just dawned on me that CBS on Star Trek, right? But then Paramount has their own thing, so Paramount is not CBS or vice versa. Paramount is CBS now again. Paramount is CBS now again. What yeah, remember? So well, well, yeah, well, here's the deal. It was uh, NBC was I think NBC aired. I hope I'm right. I think I'm pretty sure it was NBC aired Star Trek. Paramount eventually bought Star Trek. Viacom bought Paramount eventually. Oh gosh! And then Viacom went ahead and bought CBS. Oh, and then, okay. So all Star Trek was under one deal. So it was Viacom became Star Trek. But then Viacom split up. So you had CBS that owned all the TV stuff, all the TV rights to Star Trek. And then you had Paramount and owned all movie rights to Star Trek. <laughs> so so you had two Star Treks for a while. That's why you got Abram Star Trek. Oh, you know what? I hope I don't get quiz on this later. It's quite a complicated okay. well, history. Well, I'm not because I don't do tests. I don't do tests. You either pass, <laughs> you fail. Like, oh I don't really gosh. care. Not my problem. But anyhow, the thing is, they eventually merge back together. They eventually merge back, kind of like yeah, that. yeah. CBS. I don't know. CBS either uh, they they either got bought out or some some. Anyhow, they merge together. Well, but the now, most simplistic way here, of putting that is kind of like Pixar left Disney for a while, and then Michael Eisner kept. But as far as I know, it went back to Disney. But as far as I know, I don't think CBS still owns Lost in Space. Oh, so this is Lost in Limbo. Oh, interesting. I well, just you can still watch it. It's on. I've seen it. I got it. I've, I've watched it. I watched. When you say you got it, you have it on DVD. No, I don't got what Lost in Space. I had the original. On, I had the movie on, on DVD. Oh, I think a I, long I just, time ago I did too. But no, I had the original. I just got it on, on my computer. Oh, okay. 
how's the robot look, you know, compared to the show to this, you know, obviously. A lot well, the second, the next robot looks similar to the original robot. Oh, the second one. Oh, yeah, with yeah. the top, right? Because, you know, the first robot is awesome, by the way. I love the first, Whoa, hold on, the, this robot see. in the movie. Oh. This is the model kit, by the way. Oh, it's a model kit. Do you still Yeah, have... I never put, I haven't put it together yet. I don't know why. How, 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 so how old is this toy that you're showing me? From when the movie Co- came out. Collect it's not a toy. Item. It's not a toy. It's, it's a, a collector's item. Yeah, it came out when the movie came it's out. This is from the 90s. Wow. Yeah, I keep stuff in really good shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do too. And we're, we're not like the stuff that I have, but like, man. Yeah. I should put this model together and just not throw the box away. Shoot, you know how that old, that Robocop toy is up there? <laughs> no, I don't really care because we're not talking about Robocop. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like keeping old things, like, you know, like that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We keep ourselves, so we're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, the Lost in. Oh, yeah, making the, of making Lost in the... Facebook. Yeah, I always have. I almost have all the movies like making that. Well, because well, mostly space travel too. You know, yeah, like a yeah. Lot of space I love, well, I love anything that's got artwork in it. This movie art, it's a pretty good deal. It's got all about the robot. Talk about now, if I could get the real robot, I'd be happy. So <laughs> since we're speaking about space travel, right? I thought it was really weird when they landed on you know I don't know I'm going to call it Hoff, right? Because it's also like an ice planet, they could just go outside without making sure they can breathe on this thing. Have the, you noticed that? The spaceship already told them that. Yeah. I guess I guess it's also easy. And then remember when they got on the spaceship they even checked the air too, so I guess it's also easy on the budget for the for the movie. Like, hey, we can't we don't have money to make all these special costumes, so this is gonna bypass that. But here's the thing though, why would you go out there and then go, Oh, we can breathe air and take your suit off? You already know if you gotta have a air when you land on a planet. Well, that's true, but I was just making a point yeah. of like, this uh, is how well, I'm making a point that these are, they're a little more advanced in this movie <laughs> than other movies. Yeah, I mean, like, I, what what year is this I put you said in? I forgot already. Uh, 2058, <laughs> I think. 2058. So yeah. nine years after Blade Runner, 2049. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Just right on after. They don't have replicants in this movie, though. No, so um, that we know of. I forgot Gary Oldman was in this movie. <laughs> Oh really? I man, this is like one of the. I think this is like one of the first movies I've seen Gary Gary Oldman in. Was night? Well, no, I saw Gary Oldman in the Leon the Professional. Okay, you did. Yeah, I'm talking about me. Fantastic. This is the first. I'm pretty sure. And this probably, first... I think he was in True Romance. Okay, we're gonna go he... back to. Uh, this is the first movie I've ever seen him in because I didn't watch rated R movies because. Uh... Even in the '90s, early oh, '90s. Got... Well, those movies are old. Those those movies are old. Those were older than this movie. <laughs> like, man, Gary Oldman's in a lot of stuff, right? Like, he was on. in a lot of stuff. And this is where I thought, well, Gary Oldman's pretty awesome after I saw this. Oh, Gary Oldman's always awesome. It's like those, uh, like those face twitches that he has in, like, even in this and Fifth Element. He's like, <laughs> I can, I can't do it because obviously I'm not Gary Oldman, right? But he's freaking <laughs> obviously. Fantastic. Oh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. You saw that? Oh, I did see yeah, that. Yeah, Gary Oldman's in that one. Yeah, oh, that Two Old Man was in 93. Never saw True Oh, yeah, Leon the Professional. I'm not really interested in True <laughs> So Leon the Professional never saw it. And the never Fifth Element around. was like in 97. But you didn't see it back then. You know what? I don't think I see it back in 97. I probably saw it in early Yeah, I don't 2000. know when I saw Fifth Element. I almost do think I saw the Fifth Element, though, before I saw Lost in Space. Right? Oh, you know... <laughs> You're right. I think I saw this before I saw The Fifth Element. You know, it's hard to pinpoint when I saw these movies back in the Well, 90s. I saw this at the theater. So I, thought, I saw this movie. Oh, you saw this out. in the theater. Okay, I don't think I saw this in the theater. I saw this on yeah, DVD. Okay. I saw this. Yeah, I was waiting for it. I, was, I mean, out, like, because like... it didn't stand out to me. Like, even though they have a little bit of time travel stuff, but it's not like, whoa. It's well, like, it's I, like, whoa. as far as I can tell in the trailer, it didn't have any time travel. No, you can't tell from the trailer. From the trailer. Yeah, I don't think I'm pretty sure because I didn't. I didn't come see it because as a, a space is lost in space. I was like, I had to go see this. You don't hit this time travel. It had a robot. To get there. Plus, it had a robot. It had a couple of robots. Oh, yeah, but it had the the robots. So I, I like, like how simple this movie is. When you just like in the movie, like I guess in the movies in the '90s, right? They established all these character traits in the beginning of the movie. Kind of like yeah. Will is the I guess the the prodigy born genius, right? With electronics and yeah. things like well, that. Well, this is all from the TV show, though. And, oh, it is. Then Penny. Well, for me, yeah. I never seen a pen, uh, TV show. Okay. So I'm like, you know, Penny. She's only making YouTube videos before we knew that they were YouTube videos with Penny Vision. And I like but the um, a, in the original show, the she had tape recorder. Yeah, the tape recorder. Yeah, she had I tape thought it was pretty thing. cool. I mean, like to this day, it's pretty cool. 
one of the things that I know is that it didn't get dated really well is that they were using CDs. Yeah, they're still using all that data stuff <laughs> like, to transfer. I was like, they couldn't use, well, obviously, back in 98, they didn't really have USB drives. I mean, USB was still pretty new, but yeah. they were still using CDs. I was like, well, I think the data's loading kind of slow. Well, uh, the thing is, so, you know, the, the circuitry looked like something we're used to, too. Yes. But the thing is, it's 2058. Most likely, some of this stuff wouldn't change by 2058 no. anyways. Yeah, I guess that. Well, Even no. if we made it to space travel. Because they were on Earth, right? In Lost in Space. Yeah. yeah. It was Houston. Houston, Texas oh, yeah, Houston, is where they take right. off. I, I did like in the beginning, you know, the the scroll text kind of like um, it reminded me of Star Trek when they say it's like there's no war on Earth, right? You know, everybody gets you know got together, yeah, just to want to say hey, we need drinkable water. That was, that yeah, was all that was. exactly. Well, the Earth is finally falling apart, and we gotta leave. Yeah, because I got so many people. Yeah, you know, sometimes I think about space travel, right? Because in the beginning, Matt LeBlanc was like, hey, um. What do you say? Last one to kill the bad guy buys the beer, right? And let's just say they actually go into space. We're no longer on Earth. Wouldn't beer be more expensive to make in the future um, if you don't live on uh, Earth? Why would it be? I mean, I don't know. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, okay. No, it's not going to be more expensive than make. Well, I, I think every, unless you move everything else. Like, but hey, you got to think, though. Battle. He didn't leave Earth yet. You went, no, they didn't leave just... Earth yet. I was just thinking, like, you know, if they're lost no. in space, you know. Well, beer would probably be hard to the kid, but no, it wouldn't be more expensive. And and also, they're lost in space. Like, how much rations do they have? Because we watched the Martian, right? And now I'm watching yeah. this. Like, if they're lost in space, they don't have to worry about any of that. <laughs> what are they going to eat? I don't know. Well, we, we didn't get to that point yet. No, yeah. not I mean, they weren't lost. Movie. Well, they got to remember they weren't lost long enough to worry about their food supply yet. Yeah, it was maybe just a few days, right? This movie. And we don't know because I mean they're probably supposed to make some more movies. They didn't. Yeah, this so is one of those they did, So the they way, here's the way I see it. Since they didn't make any more movies, they got to the planet they're supposed to go at the end of the movie. Oh, oh. When remember they, goes, they had the yeah. star because remember they had the star charts and all the stuff, and they just. So that, yes. I'm gonna say they made it to the planet and they they got beer. They got. Because like, all you have to do is be able to plant some uh, barley. Yeah, yeah, and, you, uh, you just plant those. Yeah. And yeast is pretty abundant, but you probably want a beer yeast. But yeah. Hey, you got to start somewhere, okay? Yep. Oh, so yeah, and then water. You need to walk. Yes. I did like Gary Oman. He's he's the one who set the plan, but he got used by <laughs> the people who want to set, um, I guess, set him up in the first sedition. place. Yeah, the sedition. Yes. Which I in the real the real TV show, the Dr. Smith was he, was, he was a bad guy too, but because of the TV show and kids could be watching, he, I mean, it got cornier. The original, the first season was a little more serious than, then it just kind of. Oh, so I, but after, he was still a bad guy. Oh yeah, he was a bad guy. He was no, a no, no. So after the first season, when they found their ground audience, so they trying to market that more towards kids. I don't think they really found the audience. Oh well, because the way that you said it, right? You said like it was more like not. After the first season, it was more cornier, you know, for kids. Yeah, it's, well, they lost a lot of You know what budget. that sounds like? It sounds like it went from Batman Returns to Batman Forever and then Batman and Robin. That's what happened there. <laughs> well, That's I, what I'm going to say it, it was more, I'm going to say it went more like Batman, the TV show. Oh, oh, it was all corny, okay. cheesy from the beginning. Yeah. But you said no. the first season was actually pretty good, right? And so... Season it was okay. Three. I'm not gonna say it was that good. No, no, it was. I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed the rest of the seasons. But no, oh, it was okay. still goofy as if you could. So you can imagine. That's the best season. First season seems to be the best season. Well, but the since black, we're not so really talking the black and white one. But yeah, but I would go ahead. The main characters on the the TV show they had the whole family, and I guess it's supposed to be focused on the whole family, and everybody got their episode, I guess. But mainly, the main characters was the kid, Will, Doctor Smith. In the robot, that was it. That was really? mainly the main characters in every episode. They were the main characters, pretty much. Why is that? Every now and then, you'd see Penny, or maybe the dad, and Mr. Smith. What about the major? The major, yeah, major. The major, Don West, and the dad. The dad. Is he? Is he? Is he flirty like with Heather Grammas in this movie? In the TV well, he show? he's not as uh he's well he's more of a he's more of a let's say if we're to go into space. Uh -huh. I would pick the TV shows Major West over <laughs> ah over Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like I'm like the other one's a little more serious, a little more upstanding, I'd, I'd say. But no, he ha he he's actually kind of his girlfriend is the daughter though of the TV show. Oh, okay. Judy, is yes. it Judy? 
can't remember. Uh, I can't name. remember, but yeah, it's Judy. Dr. It's Judy. Robinson. Yeah, everybody's a Dr. Robinson, but yeah, it's Judy. So it's like a family of geniuses, except for but Penny, would, right? But, Penny's more like a teenager. Yeah, she's more a teenager, but she's actually, remember, she does all the le- electronic crap. Oh, yes. And fixes the computer. So, so everyone yeah, has their own like, set of skills. Yeah, everybody, and which is when you send everyone, somebody to space. Bad guy you, or not family, they have their own set of yeah. skills. When you send them to space, you got to have, you want everybody on your crew to have at least a skill. Yeah, obviously. The Otherwise, pilot. they're dead weight. Yeah. <laughs> dead weight. Gary Oman was supposed to be dead weight because he wasn't supposed to be on the sh- yeah, but he became, he's a doctor, though. He was a doctor. I forgot why, um, why they trying to destroy the Robinsons. I can't remember. Because this addition, the group that, that's paying Dr. Robinson wanted, Dr. Smith wanted to get to Alpha Centauri first. Oh. To colonize it. They're in a race to colonize the planet, and whoever gets there first. Everybody, the one that makes money. Yeah, they get to, they get to actually, well, they actually get to survive. Oh, my gosh. From what you just said, right, it's kind of like, well, we haven't. It's w- in it. This is basically interstellar, but they're yeah. racing. But it, it reminds me of uh, my favorite movie, Fight Club. When Edward Norton's okay. character, like, you know, when the uh, space exploration expands, right? It would be like the corporation that owned the planets. Yeah. You know, Planet Microsoft and Planet Starbucks. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, but this is going to be Planet Earth and whoever or whoever's the bad guys that wants all the humans to die. Wow. I do like, you <laughs> know what? This movie did have like, like a little bit that shares with Interstellar about when they saw that video, right? When they got through and they found that spaceship and then he saw his friend was really old, right? And he made yeah. major also. Then right, right, right then when I saw that, I'm like, oh my God. They went into the future, further, farther into the future because that team was supposed to try to rescue them. Yeah, and they just, were, they weren't even gone with a couple days. No, no, they were not, right? Probably like a yeah. 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah, because you know they they went to sleep right away, and uh, Major West was trying to make sure everything is okay with the cause, and then it was after he went to sleep, then they trying to destroy the Robinsons yeah. with the robot. Oh, that's when Gary Oldman woke up. Yep, yeah, that's when Gary Oldman. Well, oh, Doctor Smith. Yep, yeah, he woke up right before the robot destroyed destroyed, which is in the, the original TV series. Oh, really? So everything was kind yeah, of- pretty much. This was like the first episode. Of, so this of is kind of like a remake of. The TV well, show, kind of, but this one's a little bit more tolerable, more futuristic, <laughs> a little more future bait. I mean, a little more. It's more serious, hmm. even though it has a lot of jokes. It does. It's got it does. humor, and it's supposed to. I mean, the first show was funny. I mean, the original yeah, because I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, like when I watched this, I didn't know it was like a hey, a, a reboot or a remake of the TV show. Kind of, it's kind of well, like it's just what it's just based now. on it. It's one based. It's based pretty much like the original. TV series, but done better. Done better. This one, yeah, like, yeah this one I would. 90, well, it's, you know? it's more modern. Yeah, it's more modern. It's kind of like more modern thing, spacecraft. Basing the Batman TV show and Michael Keaton's Batman. Well, it's kind of exactly, insane, but it's like it's the same. Better. It's yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, same, it's just the same, you know. I mean, like how many? How many have we done that? We it was like, oh, the man from Uncle. We did that. So, yeah, so man, this so. falls the same fate. Like it didn't do well. Uh, Man from Uncle didn't do well, so they didn't do any more movies. Yeah. But Mission Impossible is also like a remake of those TV shows. But yeah. that one did really well. But I think it's because it's just Tom yeah. Cruise. That's why. Yeah. From the sixties. Yeah, from the sixties. What other show have we done? Oh, you know what? We're we're gonna we're, eventually we'll do Wild Wild West. I just found out today that was also a TV show. I did <laughs> oh, not God, know that. Thanks either. a lot. You wrote it. But didn't we'll even watch that one that. either. Yeah. All right, good. Because I watched it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about that when we come across Wild Man, Wild West. You need to get back in. You need but to start watching like, some sixties shows. But I feel like we should have made that a theme though. Like all these so like we should need to do Mission Impossible because right now Lost in Space TV show. Are they yeah, gonna we make like a Gilligan's Island TV? I mean, like a movie also. I don't, I don't see no, why no, they don't I do hope that. Not. I hope not. I but I never seen that, that TV show either. <laughs> God. Okay. All right. Uh, well, man. I mean, like, it's okay. It's just because I, I never so. come across it. Okay. Well, next time you come across, watch it. You probably didn't even watch a Bewitched. I Dream of Genie. No. Oh, okay. Okay, no, I, I've well. never seen those shows. I, I know. I, knew you, man. I, I know thought they I knew remake you. Bewitch, right? With McCoy Kidman. Yes, they Is it did. Will Ferrell? They did. Yeah, they yeah. sure did. Yeah, yeah. And I dream of Genie. They didn't remake that yet. No, but the actress passed away recently. I think. Oh, did she? I 
think so. I, I, don't I might have got something did. mixed up because I, I've never seen these shows. It just come across whatever's on my Facebook feed. Okay, I, cool. I mean, like, I, I don't know any of these. Well, you actors. need to get off of Facebook and start watching some real TV, okay? Hey, I'm just trying to watch Star Trek right now, okay? Because I'm doing right, two things one at a time. And I'm watching Narcos. And I'm trying to say that bad. Okay, just like... stop, stop <laughs> right there. When you said narcos, we're done. Why? <laughs> we're finished because it's not what we're trying to talk about. We're talking about old TV, not new TV. Oh, okay, that's right. I'm all. Yeah. I'll just talk oh, about. Narcos. I'm just watching. I'm just talking about like the TV shows I'm watching. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. Well, you need to. I think Star narcos Trek start, is probably the oldest thing. Something. I mean, like. Star Trek, uh, right? I mean, like, even not even question. Lost in Space is advertised to me. Like, on, like, hey, now we have this streaming. Lost in Space is on there. No. <laughs> no, they're not going to advertise that. Like, Paramount Plus, right? We have all the Star Trek series. Now, that's different. You know, that's a different that level of marketing. Nice. Like, dude, we have, like, 60 episodes of Lost in Space. <laughs> There's a lot more episodes than 60. I mean, like, because it's, like, let's just say it's 24 episodes a season, so that's like 73? Oh, yes. No, I'm going to look it 72. up right 72. They had a lot. They had three seasons, so. Yeah, so 72. I thought you need to 100 episodes in a TV series. You have syndication. It was syndicated, though. They had a lot. I think they had almost, what, 30 episodes a season. Too. Oh, a season. Well, the first one I was reading is black and white, right? Yeah. Just the first, first but, season was black, but and it's white. only thirty minutes in first season. It's black and white, but after they introduced color, it's like they went to like an hour, like fifty four oh, okay. minutes. I don't remember. I just don't got them all. And I want to say, like, you know, that model that you That's showed me before, I, yeah. I wrote it on the notes here, right? That robot reminds me of Ed two hundred nine. I think it's the way that you know it, you know, it moves, not the whole thing, just the top okay. part, because he got those big arms. Yeah, I don't remind me of Ed 209 at all. It just reminds me of Ed 209. I think it, it was... reminds me of Johnny Five from. from oh, because Circus. of the tires, of the, yeah, the way the wheels, the, the whole the whole body sits on top. Of yeah, it. just the treads. Hyperdrive. You know, sometimes I like when they say I, I use my hyperdrive. When they say hyperdrive, I didn't think of like, like a speed or like an option to travel through space. I came. I just think of like hyperspace. A hyperspace. Hyperspace. I like that they could fly fly to the sun. Okay, yeah, because they went under space. Because they went through space, right? Hyperspace. They went so under like, space. It's a space. Just to escape. under it. space. So basically, they're not in our realm until they pop back out. Ending up wherever possible. So they're not going to hit anything. No. I did like, you know what? I do like Major West's character because, like, you know, sometimes he has his very serious moments, right? Because he's on his yeah. mission. But sometimes when he's, I guess, in a way, you could say slacking. I put this line down. If this was all a dream, why can't they be more girls? Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is so funny to me. And I thought the um, oh, the spider aliens things when I bought the other ship, like, man, why do they always have to make these creatures kind of like um, like scary looking, right? You ever seen that movie Mom and Dad Save the World? Yep. Oh. I'm sorry, I did, I'm glad I didn't see it now. <laughs> I think it was like, well, I, even when I was young, right, I was like, yeah, this is a corny movie, sure. right? Yeah. And then like, but then they had this scene, kind of like this one, right? Like, the dad sees this alien creature. It looks like a cute little mushroom jumping to her and trying to say hi, right? With a smiley face and stuff. And what it does is when it opens its mouth, right? It's like this big, giant, shot teeth thing going on. It's and I thought that was... Like that I think it's mom and dad <laughs> saved the world. Seems like it seems that bell stuff where it looked like a huge creature, and then of course you see all the shark teeth. Yeah, and all the shark teeth, but like this, these spiders, I don't know what they call them. Like, oh no, they call them something, but they can also fly in space too. Like, okay, that was something I never seen well, before. Like this let me creature. put it this way. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, uh, everything flies in space. I mean, like, they, they don't need a ship. Like, they like oh. they talk oh, about yeah. like Superman. That's what oh, I okay. meant. Okay, yeah, well, that's... I okay. didn't mean to <laughs> Okay, yeah, because you're saying because everything will fly. In it's kind of like I mean, you and me <laughs> on Earth, right? And then suddenly we jump. So you mean what you're saying is you've never seen any living creatures out in space? Yes, I, well, okay, yeah, but it's course. normal. We actually have living creatures in space currently. Like what? Oh, it's just it's microbes. Oh, the, microbes. oh yeah, those things. But I'm yeah, talking about like an lives, actual. They live in space. Thing that you can space. see, you know. Well, so it's just a bigger version of it. Yeah. Just imagine, these are these are silicone based. Just you and me. Just imagine you and me just jumping off the planet, right? And you could fly right into the atmosphere. Like these, whatever these creatures were. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is, I, I could be wrong. I thought they said they're made out of antimanium. 
They I, said something like that. I don't know if they're trying to say aluminum or not, but it said like it sounded like she said got oh, ad, like alu, al, aluminum instead of aluminum. But she didn't say that. She said antimanium. Antimanium. Like. Oh, so it's almost a. We almost no, have to watch this over for somebody could get somebody's gonna get sued by uh, Marvel. <laughs> antimanium. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. <sighs> I did like um. Well, the Will was really good with the robot. He could control it remotely, and he has a remote control. Then he did the holographic interface yeah. thing. It reminded me of Black Panther. <laughs> right? Like that, you know? He's, yeah. 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 This was way before Black Panther, though. Oh, way before. Way before. Wow, 20 years? Yeah, 20 yeah. years, 20 something years before Black Panther. Yeah. Wait, I, I mean, even the, the space suits I always thought were really cool. Mainly Major West helmet and stuff. I always thought that was so cool. It is. Yeah, I did like that cool. little boy was really good at, I guess, playing video games as he's shooting these spiders. Really I'm quick. sure you are. That's why you want your kids to play video games because they may save your, your whole family's life one day when you go to space. <laughs> like, come on, man. Keep playing Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> I need your uh, hand eye coordination to be perfect. Yeah, but I think only if your kid can build a time machine are they going to be any good. So. so, I guess Will actually trying to, he's kind of like Tony Stark, right? He figured out time travel in a way. When he's yeah. at that age. Yeah. It's a little bit beyond Tony Stark, but yeah. <laughs> and I um I like that they uh would I call would we call it a foreshadowing when like they said the those creatures eat their wounded? Yeah. I th- I always thought that would be fun. Not the not the eating the wounded is funny, it's like they were chasing these people, right? It's kinda like that joke like, hey, you know, if I'm running from a zombie, I'm gonna trip you first so I can go. <laughs> you leave a meal for them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's why you have yeah, siblings. Yeah, it's very typical. <laughs> it's very typical. We're like, hey. In case, in case a monster comes out of your bed, you so, just uh, hope, hopefully your sibling falls So we over. knew that beforehand. Like, hey, just shoot a couple of them. So that way they are occupied with eating that thing, right? And we could make a greater escape. Yeah. But I guess it was just so many. I was like, hey, these two are already eating this one. So let's get our own meal. Well, there's like thousands of them. I mean, you're going to eat five of them. Yeah, it's very th- thousands of them. And then, of course, yeah, it becomes how they beat the main guy, the bad guy at the end. Hmm. How did you like the, uh, I guess, the time travel setup? Once okay. they land on that planet, you're like, oh, man, you can kind of see that, like, they are, they're in the future and they're at the same time. Well, they're not yeah, the I mean, it doesn't future. make any sense to me to be able to look through the bubble and see a time in another time, but it's the same time as yours. I think it's just the uh, part of the other budget saving thing. Like, man, how do yeah, we get around this? Because if it's at a different time, then you should be able to see something going on. But the problem is, it's more like it was a, it wasn't more like a time, different time bubble. It was, it was like, a, it was like they took something out of another dimension and put it there. And then put it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It had to be because if there's a spaceship here and there's a spaceship over here, you know, in a normal time setting, the spaceships would be in the same spot. Yes, but but then so basically, so yeah. basically, his targeting system when he built his bubble, let's say everybody got wiped out. So the problem is this: the people that we're watching. Here's the here's the sad thing about this movie, though. Okay, okay, we start the movie with the Robinson family. Yep. Right. We end that movie with the Robinson family. Okay. Yeah. But we don't end the movie with the same Robinson family that we started off with. Oh, they're all killed. Nice. The yes. only character, the only character in this movie that we start off with that survives and makes it to the end is Professor Robinson. Professor Robinson. John. Yes, because everyone he, else is different. Everybody else got killed. Everyone else is different. But we get them back. But we get them back from another from a time. different time. Oh. So yeah. So the original Robinson crew we saw was killed. You know what? I think after well, now that you told me, right? Like, yeah, you're totally right. I highly agree. Yes, yeah, so Professor actually, Robinson. But the original, all the original Robinsons are already dead because otherwise we wouldn't get to see the oldest. The, and that uh, that the, the new kid. Robinsons, right? Well, I guess that Professor is dead, but it's the original Robinson that made it. Yeah. To the new timeline of the Robin. Yeah. Yeah, it was the right. father made it to the alternate time that where they. Got a second chance. Look at this stupid discussion of time travel. Now it just made that really this good is, for me. This just is this part. This is, this is a good discussion yeah, that just, we're trying to solve. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm, I'm just making fun. I'm so apparently classes. there's another. So on another dimension, there's me and you went and saw this movie. So whatever the, the Robinsons were in that movie, those are the Robinsons 
oh that are gosh. all killed and only the boy survived. And then he got into our movie and saved his father so he could get into the alternate reality and save the other team. Oh, now you're just so. making this too complicated for me. <laughs> Because it was complicated, so we're just gonna fix it, okay? I'll I try just, to fix them. I'm trying to fix their bit broken timeline. Okay? I try to tell people that we do this at night, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not awake enough for this. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm too tired to think about this, but like, oh, okay. Yeah, think if we did this show in the morning, man, I would be on this like that. Yeah, exactly. Did you watch this today? No, I watched it yesterday. I watched it yesterday, so it's pretty fresh. I think I finished watching it Wednesday. I mean, I watched the whole yeah. thing Wednesday. Yeah, I watched it yesterday. Because I was like, yeah. I mean, I, I it was good. It's kind of long and stuff. But I enjoy it. But the problem here's the funny thing about me, okay? Mm-hmm. People can go, oh, this is a good space show or this is a bad space show, okay? And then people tell you why because of the story, okay? Okay. I'm like, if the spaceship's good enough and the technology is good enough, it could be the crummiest movie. I'll still love it. Oh, I, yeah. That's that's uh, that's what I'm saying all the time. It's kind of like, it's like, to, like Passenger. Well, it's like Passengers. People go, oh, Passengers. I'm like, well, there's a story to it because who cares? That spaceship was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> very materialistic there exactly you put a good robot in a movie boom you sold it to me you could have you could take the crappiest movie let me put it this way if batman and robin was made again and they had like a robot in it oh that's different okay i would love it <laughs> oh you know what <clears throat> it might be too because i'm like ratatouille right like not a lot of people like that movie i like I just this it. one particular scene and shot that yeah. made the whole movie yeah for me. that's the thing a lot, I of was like, a lot of that stuff whoa i love that I, movie because there's been a lot of movies where i watch and i hate it. i'm like oh this movie sucks i need to stop it i need to stop it now i don't stop it and then i get to the end and they they fix it all at the end i'm like <laughs> oh i think movie. i think like i think you and i can probably name a lot of stuff like that where like oh what, we what? can we can name tons of movies, yeah, but like, we don't have time for that no we don't We'll just hit those movies. Eventually. But now you just said that this time travel part. Now this movie seems a lot better for me. Yeah. Well, the time travel didn't make it for me. I thought the time travel. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking stupid. about your, the original Professor. Oh, okay. Rob, yeah. Just that oh, that's cool. But anyways, yeah. like I'm saying, that's that's not what it made the movie for me because I thought the time travel in this movie was stupid. I'm going to stick with it. Oh, it. I just it I just said all that to improve the time travel deal. But hey, it's cool. It is still cool because, I mean, he was the only one. You know one what that original. time travel thing, like, you know, that portal they made? It just reminded yeah. me of Dr. Strange's... Uh, those little portals. Yeah, like, sling ring. Yeah, the sling, sling ring. ring. Like, this is how you time travel. I'm like, I well, guess they don't just time travel. With he's not time traveling with the sling ring. He's just teleporting. He's teleporting. He's just opening a portal for. And they're teleporting time. because this guy's got a portal. It's he's got like a spear that his time and he's moving around and that's how he even opens up a deal so the guy John the professor Robinson can jump to that portal deal. So down. that's why he's got a bubble there. And the bubble must have came off the surface originally and then made itself to the planet. Wow. Because up until that time, I guess that kid wasn't lost. You know what? I think if lost. you and I keep discussing this, I could destroy this whole thing. <laughs> because, if like, you watch, if you actually just set, came to the theater and watched the movie and pay attention, you could destroy the whole thing. But I, we've I mean, already like, fixed that's what I'm it. saying. It's already destroyed. We just fixed it. I just fixed the time thing. Yeah. But then I want to destroy it by saying, like, why did they have to open how big it is, you know? Remember, because that uh, Gary Oldman's yes, mutant character. The problem, it tells you, though. It yeah, I know. He had so much power, so he can only open a hole yeah, so big yes. for the deal. Plus, he uses the laser targeting scanner to direct the deal to where it's going to open in what time. So, so, he so can, you can't really destroy it because no, the science no, on that one's good. So he also said that, like, you know, you don't have power to send one person through, right? Yeah. He, they said that. Why don't they both jump at the same time? What would happen if they both jump at the same time? I don't know, because probably how the matter forms. Oh, so they could be destroyed, right? Kind of like yeah, because it's because even though when they're going through that deal, you got to think. Remember when he jumps through the deal? It still has like a window where you're going through several different times, and you're. It probably would have just oh yeah, that, 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 and killed that rocks thing. Yeah, okay. Well, well not the rocks deal. The rock deal was a plasma core that's around it. But as he jumps through it, when he jumps through it, you do see him looks like he's going through top of glass. He's going through like a bunch of time window. And he's so traveling. what a dis- So there's only enough energy to allow that time window. To pull one person through, if both of them, it would have probably destroyed them. And they pass, they are traveling yeah, because you see it, because you even see it when he jumps to that portal, he does go through something inside the portal. There's this little blue thing that looks like glass. Same thing you see when they walk through it on the planet, because remember, it kind of, kind of, you see all that dimensional time looking stuff when they move yeah. through it. That's what it is. How did you like Gary Oldman's character, the mutant character? I thought he looked cool. Oh, it didn't look as cool to me now. What, when not, I originally saw it, when I originally well, saw it, yeah, I thought special, it was very special effects. Kind of yeah, like when I first saw it, in the, when I saw it theater, I thought it was awesome. 
even you know the Scorpion King, you know Dwayne uh, the Rock Johnson, right? Yeah. The Mummy, you ever seen the Mummy Returns? No, I did not see that. Oh, so I saw the Scorpion King. The Scorp. Oh, not the not the whole movie Scorpion. Like they did an anim- animation of the Rock and Scorpion King, right? Like even then, I was like, oh, it looks a little outdated too. Even when I was sitting in a the movie theater watching it, like I feel like they could clean this up a little. <laughs> no, they probably couldn't. Those, yeah, they could. I mean, come on, you gotta think this was New Line Cinema, anyways. Oh, I forgot it was New Line Cinema. That's why they hit is Warner Brothers. That's why they hit Bugs Bunny and the uh, Porky Pig. The only thing I remember about New Line Cinema is the movie Friday, and then uh, the Rush Hour movies. <laughs> New Line Cinema. Spawn. I have never seen Spawn to this day. Oh. oh I think Jamie Fox is going to play the new Spawn. No, we're going to see Spawn anyways. Yeah, we need to see Spawn anyways. Wasn't that great? But, it was okay. but this know, movie is like, eh, Lost in Space. Well, a lot of okay. things from New Line Cinema is like, eh. Yeah, it is, right? A lot of New Line Cinema is like, uh, it's. Well, no, it's maybe not Friday, but. Yeah, Friday is awesome. <laughs> also, the budget for Friday was a lot lower than this, right? Because mostly they sat on their front porch all day. <laughs> they film on the same yeah. street. They, they moved travel. location one they didn't time. They through space or time, so. No. And they didn't have heavy weaponry, like I guess the space weapons or whatever. Yeah, they didn't have okay. a, so, you know, we we didn't touch on that animated monkey space dog long enough. Oh, it's, it's just a monkey space monkey. Yeah, but then it's only one. Yeah, it was they found it on the spaceship. I'm sure those little, we don't even know what it was. If it was one of the race of the spaceship or if it was a pet from that spaceship. Oh, interesting. So it's possible you did sign up those things. Yeah. Is the plan of those things and they took one. Yeah, they probably just took one. And it was living in there, it was hiding. And who knows, for all we know, it got eaten. Because we saw the rest of the crew got disappeared. The rest of the crew disappeared too. Oh, yes. And that was a baby one. Oh, I guess it yeah. was a small one. Yeah, we think it was a baby. They said it was like a little baby. So we don't know what it was. But hey, it was some kind of pet. It became a pet. Let's put it that It became a pet. Was it Penny's pet in the original show? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah, she carried around the monkey with the hat on. <laughs> and everybody was pretending it was an alien. Like, we, I had to carry this to the whole show? <laughs> it wasn't on every show, though. I'm sure the I'm sure the monkey got a little aggravated sometimes. Yeah, so sometimes. Just, the only can they're like, monkey. yeah, we're, we can't do this every episode. Yeah, we have to check with the monkey's schedule first. <laughs> yeah, we got to check with the monkey's attitude. Is it, is it pissed off today? No? Okay, good. Hurry up and shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Shit, Jeez. all of this first. I don't care. Yep. Ripped off a cameraman's face yesterday, but. <laughs> oh. No, I'm sure they, because uh, you can see that they're still trying to work with. I mean, there's still a lot of this stuff in this movie was ahead of time, so we can't beat on it that much. No. No, it was ahead of his time. Because I remember when I watched it, it was fine. Now you watch it and it's like, oh, this is kind of old and this is kind of old. But that's yeah, because of all the improvements. Spoiled by new technology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got spoiled, way spoiled, so. I know, but I, like, a... I enjoyed the movie, and I still enjoy the movie. But you know, can it be true? Like, it can, like spoiled by technology. Like, I didn't. I feel like, um, what is that time travel movie? That the time machine. I feel Which like one? the virtual the the sixties one. Yeah, the sixties ones. Yeah, I feel like um, that technology used at that time was better than this one. Really? Because you know, all you had to do was sit there, right? And he. Push the thing, and you could tell that he's fast forwarding yeah, he's in time. Yeah, he's setting looked like Santa Claus's sleigh. And he pushed the knobs <laughs> with some little lights, with a red and green light. How is that more advanced than what we saw in this movie? I mean, at that time, and for the sixty, it looks better at that time than this movie from the nineties. Like judging by oh. sixty standards oh. and ninety standards. No, no, I can't agree with that. I guess. But then, like, no. whatever Matt LeBlanc's, like, you know, Major West helmet came apart, like, came on, right? Yeah, then the other the angle, cool. Then they, um, then they just use a real helmet. Yeah. I guess that's the best thing cool. they could do it for lighting and the creation of that first. Yeah, movie. and plus they put almost everything in special effects. I mean, all the spaceships are special effects. Almost everything was special effects. Even the city. Houston looked horrible. It looked really good when I saw it in the theater a long time ago. I didn't watch it again. I was like, well, that's just bad. That's really bad. <laughs> We need to see. 
we need to do Starship Troopers soon just to compare. Like, oh, hey, we do. It's like also around this time, right? Like 98, 99. Just yeah, like, it would be. I don't think it came on like, a little bit later, but yeah. So I was going to say, like, it's either like, you know what? Maybe they had a C student in Lost in Space and then like. But the Star problem Troopers is, a, a but I already, know, I already have, I already know Starship Troopers uses a lot of model kits. So, so it still looks, it's going to look as good as Star Wars. Oh, it used a lot of model kits. Yeah, the, most of the spaceships were big giant models, just like the Enterprise or the Star Destroyers in Star Star Wars. So. Oh, okay. Well, they I didn't, guess we'll they didn't go. About... Yeah, they didn't go all computer effects. Just the the bugs. A lot of the bugs were, but oh, they bugs, used definitely. a lot. But they used a lot of bugs too. You know, physical bugs. Oh, just to get the uh, oh, props. Okay. Yeah. Then, but we'll so, talk yeah, about that when we talk about Starship Troopers, though. Okay. I guess in cool. this one, they don't get to use a lot of props because basically they're stuck on a spaceship yeah, for a long basically time. Everything, yeah, basically everything was computer generated. Yeah, computer generated. But I did think the planet was cool that they crashed on. Yes. Because you see all those little sea pods and all the pollen coming out? Yes. Hey, the I'm only just... part of the planet was frozen, so... I'm just saying, like, oh, you know what? I did like the part where they, um, when, you know, beginning they got into that ship, they were able to download that data to the that ship. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, I want to point out, I want to mirror this to like when Xbox or PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, right? Like everybody wants backwards compatibility. So I guess in the future, right, we will always make these things backwards compatibility. Yeah. Even though old, old computers don't have USB drive. They yeah. Use oh, well, that's the thing. Yeah. Good luck on us trying to download something from a new computer onto an old computer. That's just... I mean, we already know that from experience. It usually won't take it. I got crap here. And this, the worst thing is new computers. I mean, they didn't have that problem. They didn't have to. But a new computer won't take old stuff at all. No, imagine, think about how do I get to to an old computer? Like, yeah, you, you yeah. had to copy on some kind of hot disk media, right? Then you yeah. got to make sure the computer wins Yeah. It. Well, you usually just hook a cable up to it. You're good. Well, the, the old cables don't have, like, a landline or USB. Okay. So what do you mean by hooking up like a cable to what kind of cable? Yeah, just get you a little cable. You got to get one of those, e, what do you call it? One of those phone looking cables to stick on there. That's if your, your computer supports that phone line. I okay, thought you talked about like right. one of those serial ports, like, you know, like the mod, like the VGA ports with yeah. a 15 pin. Yeah, I got those too. I never use that for data. Yeah, like data for trade, transfer, like well, not no computer because I, I got used to the big old floppy disk. That's how you yeah, transfer data well, back I had there. that. We've, We've gone too too much. We're we're dating ourselves. <laughs> I will look up on YouTube the video like, hey, how do I transfer a five megapixel JPEG to an old computer when floppy you know, disk is only one point four megs? And so it's, the big the thing is gonna be why would you even want to do this? Just to see if you can like just to prove yeah, loss no, in space, exactly. right? Like because they use Wi-Fi, I guess. Whatever <laughs> they use, I'm not sure Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Okay, I'm thinking there's gonna be not gonna be a big problem in the future. No. I'm talking about like, that would be a funny video. Let me put it this way. NASA could, NASA could probably do it easily. No, I'm talking about now. I'm talking about like, let's just go back in time. Let's just say, but okay. I'm just saying, if NASA could do it now in our time, then in the future they could do it and it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Transferring data from one deal to another, you're not going to have But I was just trying to make fun of like, you know, transfer a computer back in the 90s. Like, okay, well, we're not going to do that. Just this video. How do you play this video back in the 90s? <laughs> it's not going to be possible. Because first of all, this is an HD in the 90s. DVDs are not even HD back then. Well, it's probably, maybe that's our problem right there. I'm well, watching the, it on an HD screen. So we should, we should, <laughs> I should downgrade these to 480p. We should, and it would go back just like I, I remember it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it looked real until I saw it on HD. Everything, oh, this looks like crap. Everything looks crap. Everything looks crap. Well, that's the thing. Think about it. All those tons of movies we watch, it look like crap on HD. Yeah. It's all like God is HD. I'm going to go sit on the old, watch an old TV. You know, it's really funny. I, a lot of times I talk about special effects, right? Like one of the oldest movies, probably like The Wizard of Oz. You know, the the, the one with the flying yeah, monkeys. on 1930s. Bones. They're like, I just still don't know how to do that today. I mean, without using computers. They did all that without using computers back then. But now it's like, man, let's just put all those in a computer and we can duplicate everything. <laughs> Change the shadow and depth on a lot of monkeys. It'll look like 50,000 instead of just one. <laughs> oh, just talk about cheap effects. Because I think they most use most of the expensive uh, special effects on Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> right? The eye <laughs> thing, the helmet thing. Like, 
No, well, they all got the helmets. Oh, they all got the helmets. The helmets they all, the, when they get in the freeze, that, that when they get the freeze that, deal, that, they got that, that. So they didn't give him that many, but he did get the spaceship scene. Yeah, so. the spaceship scenes. With the eyeballs, with the contact lenses, the change deal. So yeah, you're right. He did get more special effects. So he also got, I mean, well, that was because he was the most well-known car- uh, actor at, in this movie. At the was time. he? I would say Mimi Roger was pretty famous. I didn't even know who Mimi Rogers was when this came out. Oh, yeah, I know she was known, but I it's didn't just, see Oh, her. I didn't know about Mimi Rogers. Too, I didn't, and Wim Hurt. I didn't but I didn't compare this because he was coming off from Friends. Or oh, he's still in Friends. Yeah, because he was in Friends. I mean, Lacey Chabay, or whatever her name was, she was more popular because she was in a TV party show. Party of Five. Fox. Yes. Yeah, Party of Five. Was and Heather then, Graham new? Heather Graham was pretty well known, too. You she was Graham still making in... her name. She wasn't famous, famous, but she was making a name for herself. And uh, William Hurt. Yeah, but he wasn't that. I mean, he's done a lot of movies, but he wasn't a big star then. Mm. And I mean, Gary Oldman wasn't either. He just yeah. None of these people were big stars yet. I mean, it's just this because they probably would if they were big stars, they wouldn't have made it in this movie. I don't think. Oh, you don't think so, huh? Just the okay, young people know. were up and coming. You know, Joey. Is and up we left and <laughs> Joey. And we left <laughs> the boy not... whoever played Will Robinson. I mean, like yeah, I, I, I don't know him before. anything else. Yeah, I don't know him. I don't know any or hardly any of these people from anything else really. So I mean, it had like a well-known cast, but not anybody was like, nobody was like, oh, I'm Tom Cruise or the movie star of the 90s. Yeah. They weren't Will Smith. I guess kind of like besides Tom Cruise and the only one is Robert Downey Jr., right? Famous from the 80s, still well, very well known today, but then. I don't really remember any really famous actors because I mean I don't think anybody went to the theaters for actors and they went for whatever you show. Whatever is that ex- exciting at the time? Yeah, it wasn't like Arnold. Hey, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Go watch it. Here's a Stallone movie. Let's go watch it. I think those days were kind of, kind of, gone for a little while. Yeah, well, especially you know. But I mean, the movie. I think those days are back. You know, people still go watch a Tom Cruise movies. So people yes. still go watch a Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Yes. Or a Will Smith movie or a so and so movie. Oh, at that time, like maybe not Will Smith right now because the slapping incident. Yeah, well, <laughs> right which now, I still believe is fake. I don't know what it was. It's just weird. <laughs> it's a bunch of weirdness. Yes. Well, I think uh, I think we could. Uh, it's about time to wrap it up for this, unless you got more comments. I don't have any more comments. I don't think I've done. I mean. This is about all you can say about the movie. I mean, it's it's inter- it's entertaining. It's right. entertaining, but not over the edge. There's no um. Well, it's not Marvel. Universe, it's right? not. It's not Independence. But Day. the problem is, yeah. Uh, I don't oh. Know. I don't know. I like Independence Day, but I don't know. This is all that much better than Independence Day. No, I'm uh, saying Independence Day is better. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm. Let me reword it. I don't think Independence Day was all that much better than this. To be honest with you. Will. Really. Enjoyable for, for sitting there, sitting there and being enjo- entertaining and enjoyable. No, I really don't think this one was all that much better. And no. both of the both of the sciences in the, both these movies. I mean, the special effects in Independence Day was way better. Oh, it was way better. And it was, but, it was, I mean, as far as science, Independence Day was made before this. And, and it, but from a science standpoint, <laughs> Independence Day. <laughs> I, I believe in the time travel and, and it's lost in space long before I believe in the, I had the crap I saw in oh. Independence Day. Hey, you know what? It's in the, oh, it was almost mid 90s in Independence Day, right? Was it 95, yeah. 96? Yeah, yeah we saw yeah, some crazy crap in the 90s. 90s was a pretty good movie time. And then now we don't hey, enjoy any of those movies. You can say that about the 80s too, because like none of the stuff had to make sense back then. I'd see a whole lot of the 80s. Yeah. I mean, the 80s, I mean, yeah, but if we come up now, I'm, I enjoy more 90s movies than I do 80s movies, I think. I guess. But oh well, I mean, come on, this still was better in a lot of stuff we've, we've from the nine other stuff. Oh, you I, you just named one, no, like, it's better, this is better this than This is way Robin. better than Blade Runner. Uh, no, not Blade <laughs> Runner, I'm sorry. No, not really way better. I don't know what I'm talking about. Blade. Oh, it's Blade. way better than Blade. Oh, Which, is, is it Blade it? New Line Cinema? Yes, Blade is New Line Cinema. Yeah, this is way better than all three Blades put together. Oh, what is Because if you put all three, because if you don't put, because if you put, let me put it this way, because if you put all three Blade movies together, you get really one long sucky movie. <laughs> yeah, but then you put them together though. I know we shouldn't have. I think the first Blade was better than this. Oh, 
I didn't. I did not like the first flight better than. Oh, well, that's because you suck. <laughs> well, I might, but. Like I don't know. It's hard to like. I really like Blade. It's not hard to. I already say it. Blade. Really? Yeah, I really like Blade. Didn't yes, like Blade I do. Much. But it's okay, kind of like saying good. like you're not a fan. Let's just say you're not a fan of Blade. It's like right? saying you like. That's like saying you like peanut butter uh, smooth, and I like crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, it's yeah. Just saying that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we we'll just go with that. How about yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. What's that? What's that thing they say? Agree to disagree. That's what they say. Yeah. But you don't have to. Yeah, most Americans. To. Most Americans don't do that anymore. No, right. It's, yeah, yeah, it's like you either you either see my way or or who loves you? <laughs> Nobody loves you. All right, well I guess hey, we'll just uh call it right here. We we ain't bet you both agree that it's better than Batman and Robin. Oh, this is better than Batman and Robin. Stupid Ronald the Duck. I mean, how well, how would the duck? I don't know why I said Ronald the Duck. Like who? Ronald McDonald right. and Howard Ronald the Duck. Ronald McDonald and Howard the Duck. All right. Well, I guess we can end it now. Yep. All right. Let's uh, talk on the next one. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Tenzai Reviews. If you like what you heard, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>